I went for the Eras tour in Singapore night 3. It was held at the National Stadium at Sabrina Carpenter opening the show and then Taylor Swift came next. And they started on the dot. They start, Sabrina Carpenter started at 6 sharp and Taylor Swift started at, at about 7. How I got these tickets? At first, tickets were sold around June, July last year, 2023. And I did not get any tickets because I did not have an access code and I was asking around, I was like, asking around my friends, does anyone have a spare access code? And towards the end of the sales in July, one of my friends replied and she said she does have but by then the tickets were sold out so I was really upset about that and I was just thinking maybe they might release more restricted view tickets and they did. I went in the website, got them and honestly any view is a good view. So while I'm talking, I will show some clips of what I've documented during my show. So we left our house at around 4.30 around 4 to 4 30 because we wanted to take a taxi there and it took about one hour plus to get there because for one there was okay there was no jam on the expressway there was no traffic jam on the expressway but to enter the stadium there was a traffic jam because the roundabout is quite congested so when we were about to reach the taxi driver asked me so where do you want me to drop you off and i answered national stadium so i mean obviously like I even wrote down on the Grab app, National Stadium, and I didn't know what to answer, so I just said National Stadium. And he's like, okay, but where? Like, okay, he was very patient. And here, Ticketmaster did show there are four entrances in two eras tour. So the nearest one to where the taxi was at that point was at the bridge. Like, when I looked up, I could see that there was a queue forming. And he said, so you could either choose to drop off at the bridge, which is the one right in front, or you, or do you want me to drop you off at the Kalang Wave Mall, which is and which he said that it was about another 45 minutes to 1 hour and at that point it was about 5.30, 5.40 so we were like, okay never mind um, you can drop us off at the bridge because definitely there is some sort of queue up there and it's definitely to enter the stadium this is a tip, when you're booking the taxi or a grab just um, make sure that it's to the national stadium and not to the mall because the mall is nearer to the indoor stadium and it will take another hour so if we did go to the mall then we will probably miss the whole show for Sabrina Capetta at the start. So, okay. The drop-off point was also a sheltered walkway, so that was very easy. And we just took the lift up and then joined the queue. So this is what the queue looked like at about 5.50. Everyone was um, queuing in orderly manner. Nobody was pushing, nobody was rushing. All the staff for the stadium, they were helping us find out oh, which queue should I join because they had an express queue for people without bags and they had the normal queue. Even if the queue looks like it's snaking and you think oh it was it's probably gonna take an hour, no. We reached the front of the queue within five to ten minutes because the security check they had at least they had at least ten lanes open for you to check. So you'll go through this um, basketball court that's used as a security checkpoint. And after we went in it was the track for the national stadium. A very colourful track, the 100 plus track. So me and my sister, we took some photos there and we could hear Sabrina Campeta singing already but we were like, okay, let's just take um, a few pictures outside first when there's natural lighting. Outside, they were also selling water for $3, a 250ml um, Tetra Pack, I think it was a carton. A very, a very square carton that you could recycle after the show. You have to have cash to buy this water and it was going for $3 and some tourists may not have small change at all because they flew in. Well, some of them, they just forfeited the change and just said, um, it's okay, you can keep the change. Because the show has started. So if you are going to a concert in Singapore at the National Stadium, do bring some small change. Um, buy. You can buy something from the convenience store and ask for small change, maybe like $2 or $1. And then after we bought the water, we went to get 10 because on the ticket, they were let you know which gate to enter and it's very clear the signs are very big on the wall they have the number 10, 11, 12 so you can just follow the signs or you could ask one of the staff wearing blue and for us we did not print our tickets just, just in case we dropped the ticket so we just used our phone and then scanned the ticket and it was relatively easy after we entered Sabrina Carpenter was performing and she was looking really good like her dress was so sparkly and she was singing live she sang Dancing Queen by Eva and it was so good because everyone was singing out loud with her even though you can't hear it in the videos like everyone was singing the chorus like you are the dancing queen and everybody was singing that and it was really nice to experience that 
at 7 o'clock, Taylor Swift started the show and she was smiling and she was really happy. Like It was the third night there and she did not show any signs of being tired even though she has been hitting those notes from the first day, like day one, day two, day three consecutively and she has the same energy. I don't know how she does that but I really appreciate that. The people in my section, everyone knew that they could just do whatever they wanted. If they wanted to stand, they can stand. Okay, halfway through the concert, I wore earplugs. Only 40 cents each because my ears were... Like you know that sound when you can hear but then it sounds a bit far, like clouded hearing. Yeah, I was hearing that. After I wore them, I could still hear people cheering. I could still hear her singing. I could still hear the music. So it's okay to wear earplugs. I was cheering and singing however they wanted to. Especially during All Too Well, everyone was singing so loudly that Taylor Swift's voice was almost drowned by the singing and I will put a short clip here Honestly, this concert has most of her track titles and her, one of her and her most popular track. She did explain that she's been doing tours like the Fearless Tour, the Reputation Tour and then with COVID here, she decided that why not do an Eras Tour where people can feel how other people felt by going through all the Eras in one tour. But of course, she can't fit every single song inside so she just chose the best hits that she had and what she thinks that the crowd would like. And after the concert, most people did take their trash with them, their waters and all that. Some people did leave it behind, maybe they didn't see it. But there are trash bags outside and by the door, so you could just throw it inside the white or the black trash bags. And you could take some pictures, like the staff won't chase you out, not yet. Like after the concert ended, we were in there for about 10 to 20 minutes taking some last OOTDs. And there was a Swifty that behind us that photo bombed us and we were like laughing about it and then she gave us the friendship bracelet. So she gave me Enchanted because I was wearing a ball gown. Surprisingly, it wasn't that hot inside the venue so I would say not to worry about it. It's The only thing to worry about is if it rains. So if it rains then it's going to be a bit hard to walk around in a ball gown but luckily it did not rain. Like no joke, okay, the rain kept pouring down and the moment the concert ended, it was raining so heavily from 10 and by the time we reached home, it was about 12. It was still raining at about 12 and I don't know how long it rained for. Before the concert, we booked a bus to go to our MRT station and that did not work out because of the rain, especially since the bus was located somewhere where we had to walk out in the open with um, we had, where we had to walk unsheltered and we were both wearing dresses, we had no umbrella, we had no poncho and most of the stalls were closed by then and it was so crowded so we decided to forfeit our tickets and just take the train and surprisingly it was really easy to take the train even though the queue looked quite long and most you're waiting for about 15 to 20 minutes the train had a 2 minute interval for it was quite fast and the train was not overly packed. We could still breathe and it was very convenient and efficient so I would say good job. They even had an MC somewhere, I couldn't see where she was but I could hear her saying, could hear the MC talking about the fans from the other side because the side that was sheltered, it was far away from the MC but she was playing a lot of Taylor Swift songs and then she was reminding everyone not to run, be careful of the rain especially since the floor is wet and some of us really be wearing heels or stilettos so it was super slippery. But everything went fine, we managed to go into the station within 10 minutes, get on the train and then go home safely. So, public transport is the way. But I would rate my Eras to experience an 8 out of 10. Because for one, I know that there are so many exhibitions now in Singapore. Marina Bay Sands and then at the Sports, at sports Hub itself, at the stadium, they had some events where you could do face paint, you could do your hair styling, they put some gems in your hair. We did not go for that. I go again. Yes, I would because you could just sing and everyone's singing with you. It's not something that you have every day and you can't do it at home. And usually if you're singing at home, you're singing alone. And my ticket was about $94 with the booking fee. Because I, I did not buy it from a reseller, I managed to get it online. So it was $94 total and then my dress was $25. I had a good company, I had a good time, I met good people and the whole experience was not stressful at all. The staff knew what was happening. 
and everything was well planned. There was even food inside the venue. So if you're hungry, you could just go anytime, buy the food. And yeah, I would say it was a really good experience. And I do feel bad for the people who got scammed, especially those that I've seen on TikTok. Like they had to walk out because their ticket was invalid. And seriously, the scammers need to stop. Anyway, do leave a like, share and subscribe and leave a comment below on your Aristotle experience. Bye!